sleek, slim profile. Not intimidating whatsoever when it comes to size and snackability for walleye. Ribbing. It's gonna catch water though, a little bit. It's not like a ton of ribbing, but I wanted something that caught water. We'll be river fishing this. I'm gonna make as many of these as I can and just pray for a walleye. Probably for hours and hours and hours. Freaking winter, man. Oh, and the whole point of this, we're putting a paddle in the middle of the tail, not on the end. We're gonna see if we can catch enough water to get this thing to wag with a middle paddle and then like a tail fin sticking off of that. So one side of this file cuts the other side's flat. I'm using the side that cuts and it's just the right thickness. It goes between those slots and you can smooth that stuff off in between there. See that one's sharp. I gotta go through all of these and then smooth off the outside of the body. I'm also pressing against each side of each rib to get rid of like that jaggedness stuff between the transitions. There's going to be an unsettling amount of moving this file back and forward. I will probably spare you from. In this video, I, I really just started making whatever I want. I didn't have a good idea of what to make. I just yanked this out of left field. I think I just really want to catch a late winter walleye. That'd be pretty BA. It's a respectable catch, you know? Hopefully it's got some size on it. Get me some loins. I'll keep it. I'll keep it and cook it. This will be a catch and cook if it's successful. Boom. What a video. They have to be a certain size. I should look that up. Sand, 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 sand. Occasionally find something I have to carve away. Back to sanding. This thing's pretty much done. Got everything to some strategic thicknesses and specific spots like that tail back here. I wanted to leave thicker. I want it to move and flap on the end. I hollowed out behind the tail there. That should be kind of cool. I don't know, we'll see. I rounded off like all of the ribbing. That took forever. See that little sharp edge right there? I missed, I just found that in the viewfinder. I'll fix that before. Sealing, that's what's next. We're gonna seal the wood. I'm pretty sure I need to go to Menards, my hardware store, get a new can. Yay. Yeah, that's, doesn't even make a noise when I shake it. That's a little thick. I need a new can. Never mind. I found this old can. Some water based. This stuff doesn't really thicken up as much as the other stuff, oil based. I'm gonna brush it on thin, give it a sanding, and then get the triple thick out. Oh yeah. Looking good, nice and shiny. I'm being a naughty bait maker. I'm working on the test tank as a bench surface, naughty. It's a glossy, now well, let's just call it semi-gloss. It said gloss on the can, but I don't want a full gloss, so I'm not gonna go any further with it. Let's get this glued down, put the mold box over it, and pour some silicone. Just gluing it to a piece of polycarbonate. Same with the mold box. I'm kind of not caring today. I would do this with hot glue, make it nice and most certainly sealed, but Super glue works too, and I don't feel like getting the hot glue gun out. There's a film over this piece of polycarbonate, so I can even reuse this for lips and stuff if I want to in the future. It's not destroying anything. There will be no mold release required for any of this. Just one pour and it's done. Let's get the silicone out.
Wow, that really tries to creep up the the mixing spinny thing. You can't really use these with this silicone. Alright, not even gonna degas it, because it's a one-piece mold. And the bubble should rise up far enough to not affect anything before it hardens. So here we go. I'm gonna get a wire and kind of rub it across all those chip hair in there. Look at that. Okay, that should be just fine and dandy. Let's fill it the rest of the way. Mixed way too much. It's gonna be an unnecessarily tall mold. See you tomorrow. Good morning. That looks like a perfect seam. Just jam your thumbs in there. What are you doing? Nice. Got a fully intact master out of the whole ordeal as well. Some good smooth ribbing. Wow, that went as good as a bait maker can ask for. Let's pour. I'm gonna pour this whole thing in just normal clear, get rid of any moisture, heat up the mold a little bit. Didn't spread it at all to try to get uh, plastic deeper in there. I can already see an air bubble on that tail, so I might need to be spreading it back there. That was just to learn what I'm dealing with, really. Yeah, I think we're good. That turned out pretty good for a finish. Oh, and the tail did fill in. There was no air bubble. Or no, there was. It could have went just a smidge it further back there. That's a pretty sweet bait. This is soft plastisol too, by the way. Bait Plastics 152 feels just about right. To be like drifting along on the bottom, trying to get a walleye to bite it, it needs to be soft and flappy. And as you can see, no ridiculous air bubbles on the surface. It's got the, uh, pretty much a semi-gloss finish. I hope this thing flaps. I really hope that thing flaps. Let's pour a, a good looking one. We're gonna pour the paddle clear. Make it look like it's not even there. Just get enough in there for that. And then I'm gonna have to heat gun that for other colors. With the silicone molds, you heat gun that stuff just to where you start to see it wave and move. Get it into a liquid just on the skin surface and then pour over that and it perfectly adheres. With an aluminum mold, you get the whole thing hot so you don't even have to think about that. Okay, I got some monkey milk ready. White with blue highlight, we're gonna heat this up. Pour immediately over what you're heating up. Yeah, I just saw it. It blended in there perfectly. We got the monkey milk belly. Now we're gonna do a dark color over the rest. Tempted to do like a green pumpkin. That's pretty lame. Let's do a tequila sunrise. And yeah, you need to wait for each layer to pretty much completely cool off. You don't wanna be pouring into this and it sinks down into what you just poured because it's too hot. You need to cool it off, heat it back up, just the surface, and then pour your new color. Okay, I'm gonna open this up a bit before I pour the tail. I remembered to do that. I added a tiny bit of June bug to that tequila sunrise for more purple. Success. There are a few tiny little spaces between the lamination, between the ribs. Might just need more heat gunning. 
maybe just get that plastisol hotter on that second color. There's just like a, uh, a space right there on the paddle. It's laminated. It's just that some air got caught back there. It looks like it's pretty cool. It didn't drip all the way down. The monkey milk didn't drip all the way down, but the tequila sunrise caught it. That little tip of the detail on the tail. Nice. That will catch fish if it works good. Let's see how it works. Um, I think a lot of different sizes will fit this bait just fine. Let's try three sixteenths. I'll want something that gets it to the bottom, but just barely keeps it there. Cool. Does it kick? Oh, wow. <laughs> it does. The boot on the middle of the tail thing does a lot of this, and it causes that fin back there, the flap side to side too. So it's got a wobble and a flap. That is a nifty little flap back there. That is a natural swim. The body's all ribbed, so it's gonna pick up a lot of water and get thrown around in the current. And that tail just does a little subtle, very natural thing. And it's a super bendy, bouncy bait. The paddle on the tail catches a lot of water, gets it to do the drop shot thing, but then it picks up and goes, swims away naturally. This is a success. A pleasantly surprising good action. Let's make more. I threw that monkey milk and purple together to create a belly color. I do that all the time. Just mix what I was using and, and then that's a new color. Poured it in three different sections. They're not even touching each other. And now I have a black with red flake. Purple and black, that's a good color combo. That all depends on what the walleye think. Okay, now I got some work to do. I'm gonna pour a bunch of single colored baits, that way I have a lot going to the river, you know? I'm gonna get like a container of water so they can cure instantly. 242 medium blend and test that action here before I go. That's a lot easier, just, just one color. I have a feeling black's gonna be good. Apart from making baits today, I've been running around from heating cooling place to heating cooling place looking for the correct thermostat to my house because it broke. Just learned that it's discontinued. Gonna have to hire somebody to install a new programmable thermostat. It's just been a mess, but it's nice to come back to just some simple old bait making right here between fiasco, you know. That was monkey milk, holographic flake, two drops, two drops of black, kind of a darker, smoky, holographic flash. This one's gonna look good. That is flashy. What's it do? Okay, the medium blend is much more stable. And the tail has a tighter, faster wiggle. I like both blends the same. That's subtle tail wiggle. I just have the feeling that that is going to be deadly. It looks irresistible to me. Time to go catch walleye. You just watch, I'll catch nothing but just random river largemouth. That's it. That's all we catch on this channel is largemouth, you know? spot. Fingers crossed it needs to be the only spot. That would involve luck though, and I don't have much of that. 12 pound fluorocarbon leader onto some 10 pound braid.
Wait a second. Did I just catch a fish? Oh my goodness, I did. I am not eating this. Absolutely not. I did catch it by the mouth. It's official. Quillback. I'm not eating this, no. Like open pour swim baits that you make for walleye. It's official. I, did, I mouth caught it. That's amazing. You guys saw it. Be free. That wasn't even a fight. Cold water. Something was official. Not ideal. Whoa! That was a good hit. Something took it. It's when it gets up in the shallows here. It's probably all quill back. Yeah, it's not like I'll freeze to death. That was on the retrieve. This feels good. Oh. This isn't a quill back. Target species acquired. Are you 15 inches? I think this is a keeper. You're super close if you are. It's official. Fifteen inch walleye. I can keep it. Woo. It wasn't even hooked. It probably was hooked. It just got unhooked, but that was pretty close. Keeper walleye. Let me go get my uh, cooler and ice. Where am I going? Like the bait that I intended to catch walleye on. That's perfect. Let's catch four more. I just left my $2,000 camera in the middle of the river. I'm gonna lay him down and make sure that I have a 15 incher. Yes, okay. He is definitely 15. I can definitely keep him. I'm gonna bleed him out. Gotta take care of that meat. So that was a Walter up in the shallows that chased a bait. Like I was reeling relatively fast and he chased it right there. For sure on the bottom though. Well, we fished until we ran out of baits. There's a lot of snags in there. Hi. Hi. Hey, buddy. You gonna eat some of this, honey? No. No. I know it was hungry. I guess that's okay. There's only one. Should I save that for a lure? <laughs> okay. I don't know, I think you have to dehydrate them and salt them. If I'm to do I'm not ready for that. I don't think I'm gonna keep them yet, but that's for some time in the future. <laughs> okay, two fillets. I mangled one a little bit. What are you gonna do? Let's not dwell too much on that. This was a pretty successful video. That's a much better way to get ice. You're pan frying. Yeah. Yeah. Salt, pepper, dill. Yeah, it tastes like 
like nothing. Yeah. It's like fish can only be okay. so good. And then they're all kind of just the same. That good. Hi. After catching that one walleye, I was expecting more. Especially catching it in such a shallow spot, reeling pretty fast. I'm like, oh, they're up here. And they're active. They're they're gonna hit stuff up here. And I just it was just that one. It was a loner. Darn. A limit would have been a lot cooler than one, you know? But we got one. It was good. I like beef. I like eating cows instead of fish. A steak. At least that was free, you know? Plucked it out of the river and ate it. Pretty good feeling. The thermostat's fixed. Thank goodness. Some fellows were able to come over and fix everything same day. We have heat in our house. This was a successful video. Life's pretty good right now. Oh! And if you're wondering about the previous video when I said I'm going to Florida, I did. Here we go. <laughs> it's got some battle I scars. I didn't even notice that. But that video is not ready yet. It correlates with the release of something epic. Let's just say that. Okay, video's over. On to the next bait. You guys need some chip too, don't you?